Now, most of us are probably more familiar with the Disney versions of fairy tales we all know and love. And while I did watch these as a kid, I also watched Fairy Tale Theater. For those of you who don't know, Fairy Tale Theater was shown in the 80s on CBS, and it was produced by Shelley Duvall. And wherever I could find them on VHS, I had to watch them, because as a kid, I loved fairy tales. When you think about it, it's actually kind of fascinating how long fairy tales have been around. For generations and generations, they've been told by our grandparents, our parents, to us, and to our children. And they had all sorts of actors, from Popeye himself, Robin Williams, to Ian Malcolm himself, Jeff Goldblum. It was actually kind of fascinating to watch. Yeah, it was cheesy, yeah, it felt like you were watching a play on TV, but watching everybody's unique take on these classic stories, it's actually pretty fascinating to watch. Some stories are funnier, some stories are scarier, some of them are just downright cheesy. But we enjoy them because they're so memorable. And I thought, do any of these hold up? Every now and then when I have some time, I look on YouTube to see if there's any clips of Fairy Tale Theater on there. They have everything on there. I know some people look for the DVDs or the Blu-rays or for through Amazon and all sorts of places, streaming and such, but this is the simplest way to watch them. I mean, heck, they're not going to be any better resolution on video or DVD. <laughs> and it's actually really fascinating how much they hold up, how much they don't hold up, how creative they are, how silly they are. And I thought, what if I went back and watched all of them? What if I dedicated a month to watching all of these fairy tale theater episodes and giving you my takes on them? I know it's kind of similar to a certain internet critic doing a certain Disney filled month, I don't really remember what it's called, but I'm gonna have my own month in November. I'm gonna call it Fairy Tale Theater Month. So come and join me while I take on the month of November taking a look at Fairy Tale Theater. This is Fairy Tale Theater Month. <laughs>